Hello, Pisces viewers. So last reading I did, I was getting that you have a very strong telepathic uh, connection here with someone. So let's look at what's going on now. Regarding this connection. Make your move, green light. Willpower, strength, confidence. Isolation, loneliness, emptiness. Dreams, visions, telepathy. A sense of belonging, home, safe space. Nostalgia, longing. Passion, romance. Fast moving energy uh, and shyness and fear of rejection. be something that's just come in with this uh, recent full moon cycle. What was that like three days ago, three or four days ago, something like that? It seems like this person has a lot of pain regarding your connection because I feel a very strong mixed energy here because we have right here we have make your move green light. So it's like they get these bursts of energy where they they want to reach out, they want to call you, they want to hear, they miss hearing your voice. I'm getting that very strongly. Like they want to know what, who, you know what you're doing. They miss the past a lot with you. They just miss. I'm just sensing a lot of pain. They just they really miss the past. They miss your voice. They miss how things used to be. Um, and I'm, I'm getting that there's something or someone that always drags them down. Now, for a lot of them, I mean, for some of them, this could be a karmic. But for a lot of them, I just feel like it's their own insecurities and their own fears and their own regrets. Because we have so much mixed energy here. So it's like they, they try to summon the willpower and the strength and the confidence to come forward to you. And then this energy comes up that makes them feel, you know, isolated, alone, empty. Like they, it's, it's almost like they really get their hopes up and they really open their heart and they start thinking, you know what, I need to make a move. I need to take this, this risk. I need to take a leap of faith for love. Like all this just, you know, very romantic energy starts coming up but then they just fall right back down. Like they just, they just feel discouraged. They feel, it's like they start, I don't know if maybe some of them reach out to you and you don't respond. So they, they get discouraged or maybe they feel like a lot of them don't reach out. Like they just start thinking about it, but then they start telling themselves it's unrealistic. Like they're just living in the past. They're living in their head. It's just a dream. Like you wouldn't, want them back or, you know, like you wouldn't give them a chance. Um, if it's like a secret admirer type, it could be someone like thinking like, well, you know, you're out of my league. So, you know, it's better just to dream and not even like they want to try, but they just, for whatever reason, whether it's like a secret admirer that doesn't think they have a chance with you, or if it's someone from your past, maybe a lot of time has gone by and they just kind of assume that you've probably moved on by now, whatever the situation is, it's just this energy where they, they try to summon this this willpower, this strength, this confidence to come forward and uh, communicate with you. I'm getting very strong. That there's something about your voice that they miss. Like they miss, like your voice is very soothing to them, um, and they're just missing how it was or how it how it could be. And like I said, some of them this is a karmic doing this to them, but for a lot of them, it feels like it's. Like they're doing this to themselves. Like they, they get there. It's like, they don't have a balance. It feels like your person, like they, they have a lot of passion. They have a lot of good energy, 
but it just it feels like they just they don't have a balance it's like all or nothing with them they either let everybody in or they let nobody in it's like that kind of energy where they don't know how to find that middle ground and that creates issues in this connection because it's like they get in this romantic energy where they're like you know what I'm going to take a leap of faith for love I'm going to do this like it's, you know, got to try, but then they, they, um, something catches them. Something makes them pull back. They're like, we'll actually wait, wait a minute. Let's be logical here. Like it's been a long time. They could have moved on by now. Um, you know, they, they probably would have messaged me if they wanted to, or they probably, um, would have, they'd probably flirt with, like, if it's like a secret admirer, they're probably like, well, they'd probably flirt with me more if they liked me. Like they, they get in this romantic energy and then they're, they're in that energy so much and they're, they're giving into this passion so much that then they, it's like, it, it, it scares them. Cause it's like, there's no safety net. You know what I mean? It's like, they're, they start wondering like, okay, what if like, I don't want to get my heart broken. Like maybe it's better just to dream. Like they just really get scared and then they go back to feeling isolated, alone, empty. Um, if this is your story and this is resonating, if you want a private reading, my email is below in the description box right below this video. The email is dragonenchantress at aol.com. And yeah, just you can just copy and paste it. It's, it's literally right below you. And any donations are appreciated. Even just, you know, I'm going to keep going, but, you know, any donations are appreciated too. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. My um, donation links are below as well. And if it resonates, please subscribe. Um, so, so the next card here we have is dreams, visions, telepathy. So I feel like there's a very psychic um, connection here. That's That was the energy I was getting before too, that, you know, sometimes you find yourself just randomly missing them. That was the last reading I did where it's like you, you, you just out of nowhere, like you haven't thought about them in a while. And then you just start missing them. And it's, it's because they're missing you and you're feeling their energy. And it does seem like either you're coming through in their dreams or they're coming through in your dreams or, or, or both. Um, this person, you know, you guys are telepathically communicating, it seems like. I feel like this is also the energy that keeps them on track. It's almost like... Some of you might be doing magic, just not, not most of you, but just, you know, a small percentage of you, I think might be doing like reconciliation magic and you're actually consciously aware of this energy. Like you you feel their energy, you feel them coming back soon. Like you feel like any day now, any day now they're going to finally message and then their energy just like drops off and you're like, what the hell? Like I felt like you felt so strongly, like they were about to message just any, any, any day now. And then you just feel like a sudden wall, like it's just a sudden distance and you just, you can't understand it. You can't fathom this energy because it's, I mean, you can't understand what's going on with them because it's like so back and forth. But I mean, your person just does not have a good emotional balance. When they get in this energy, they start getting scared of getting their heart broken and being rejected, you know, shyness, fear of rejection here. It's kind of what's, you know, stopping them. And then yeah, they get scared and they go back right into this, this kind of isolated, lonely energy. And then, you know, it goes, it's like a vicious cycle. Then it goes back into this energy where, you know, the, the psychic energy where it's like pulling them in. The, the issue is just their fear that they need to get past. It seems like there is this nostalgia, really, there's a very deep nostalgia with this person. Um, this person feels like they have a lot of empathy. They do, they have a lot of passion, a lot of empathy, a lot of emotion, feels like they're very nostalgic for you. I think they just think that, you know, you probably moved on by now is what I'm getting. Or they just think that they just might not have a chance. Passion, romance. Yeah, it's like sudden turn of events, like back and forth, kind of up and down energy. Um... What else do we need to know about this? So what, what's, uh, let's see. That's a good question to ask. Hmm. Cause I mean, the desire is there. The emotion is there. Like it's, this is a very, almost like, I almost feel like, ch like channeling. I almost want to cry. Just like watch, like feeling this person's energy. Like they're very emotional about you. Like they're not, this doesn't feel like someone who's just kind of uh, take it or leave it. This feels like someone who like, has very deep regrets about not being with you right now. This feels like someone who really like 
you know, fantasizes about you, who thinks that like misses your voice, you know, wishes they could talk to you. Um, someone who keeps kind of going back and forth, like summoning the energy, but with people that are kind of like introverted, um, sometimes it's like they just live in their head so much that it's like, they just get used to that. So it's, it's almost like this person like has this safe space, like this, um, like safe inner world where it's just you and them, you know, like the, these like dreams about you guys. And it's kind of like they retreat to that safe space and then here, you know, every once in a while they go to try to make that physical. They're like, well, what if this could be real? What if it could be more than just a fantasy? What if I could, what if we could really do this again? Um, or what if I, you know, like if it's a secret admirer, then they're like, well, what if I, you know, what if I could have this chance? And then they just, that fear comes up, that, that fear of, of getting rejected, rejected, getting their heart broken comes up and, and it's just, you know, back and forth. So that's probably why this person confuses you too, is because you're feeling that energy that, you know what I mean? Like almost going to message and then, you know, boom, that fear takes over and they're, they're, you know, all that energy is pulled back. So it's kind of back and forth. Um, the, if, if you're doing spell work, like reconciliation spells, they are working though. Like the person does feel them. It's just the fear that's getting in the way. So it almost like, it almost feels like, I mean, cause the emotion is already there. So it almost feels like what needs to be done more than anything is like removing the fear, removing the insecurities. Um, this person needs, you know, confidence. They need to be brave. They need to stop living in their head and just, you know, dreaming about you. They need to make this a reality. Um, it seems like this person is very introverted. Uh, what will help this person move forward towards you? What, what, what do we need to know? Confusion, uncertainty, reconciliation, truth, clarity, courage. Yeah, they're just kind of con confirming. It's like they might need some truth. They might need an opening for some, for some, doesn't mean that you have to message them first, but if there's a way that you can do, like, I don't know if there's a way for you to give them an opening possibly. Like they're just, it seems like they're really afraid of getting hurt. I mean, there's a strong telepathic bond here. So it's like, you probably know that you're feeling their energy, but they might not know that, that that's what they're feeling. You know what I mean? Like they miss you, but they might not be aware that you're missing them too. They might, I, th I think that this person kind of assumes it's just one sided or they, they don't really know. I think this person is just really in the dark about how you feel. And they're just really, they want to hold on to that dream of you. It feels like just fantasizing about you, like it gets them through the darkness. And so they're afraid that if they reach out and try to make this, you know, manifest physically with you. And if you reject them, it's just going to be so devastating to them that it's like, they're not going to hold on. They're not going to have that dream to hold on to anymore. It's like that dream gets them through their darkest hours. And if they, if they don't have that dream, it's like, they feel like they just have nothing. So it's, it's like, they're just holding on to that and they're afraid to, to take that risk and, and risk having to lose the dream. You know, um, it feels like you're kind of their unicorn. I don't know if you've ever heard that term. Unicorn is like, when you say someone's your unicorn, it's like that once in a lifetime kind of love. It's like that person that you just love so much that it's like if you were to ever lose them, you just like it It would just destroy you like you couldn't do it. So it's almost like it's just a fantasy. It's like it's a unicorn. It's It's something that's beautiful and amazing, but it's something that you don't believe that you could ever touch or have for yourself. And this could be a secret admirer just feeling like you're way out of their league, just watching you and feeling like they, there's no way they have a chance with you. This could be also an old person that maybe messed things up and a lot of time has gone by. So they've had time to kind of grow and, and heal and change themselves. And they're, they're recognizing like, like they've matured. You guys have both gone down different paths and matured and now they're wanting to come back, but they're like, could things really be the same? Like, I mean, could things really be good again? Like, could things, um, I'm getting that song, uh, Everlong, I think it is. Is it Everlong? I wonder when I sing along with you, could everything, could anything ever be this real forever? It's like, that's, that's the song. Those are the song lyrics that are coming into my head. Or it just kind of feels like, I mean, this person might've messed up. I'm not saying they didn't like this person could have totally let you go, but then 
realize down the road what a mistake that was. But it's like they kind of feel like you've like you might have moved on or something like that. Like they don't really know if they still have a chance with you. It's just the energy that I'm getting. Like sometimes they kind of seem like they think, oh, maybe this is a psychic bond. Like maybe maybe I am feeling the person's energy, but then they kind of can like talk themselves out of it. Like they use logic to kind of be like, no, that's probably not what it is. Like they, they just don't know. Like they seem like they're really confused. So so yeah, so so I mean, the, if you're doing reconciliation magic, it is working. Like they are feeling it, but the fear is the issue. The the uncertainty that they're feeling, that's what's that's what's blocking you guys. Is this? It seems like is this person's fear and uncertainty. They don't want to get rejected. They don't. It's like you're this unicorn to them. You know, it's like such. A, it's this dream that they're just holding on to. And like idealizing it almost, you know, it might not have even been perfect between you two, but maybe they're just maybe, you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. And so this person is like idealizing the relationship now, especially if they're going through a dark period of their life and they're kind of lonely, then they're really holding on to that. Those past memories, I get a very nostalgic, very emotional, very kind of sad energy from this spread um, on your person, you know, your person's feeling that way. So it's just, yeah, it's an interesting energy. I mean, I feel them wanting to reach out. It just seems like there's so much fear that it's like, can they, can they handle this kind of love is almost what I'm questioning. Like, can they really handle this kind of relationship? Some of them can't. Some of them don't. I mean, some of them might not be able to handle this kind of love. Like, it's too real. It's too raw for them. It's too... That fear is too strong. But if you guys are going to be together, it seems like the fear needs to somehow be removed, be that through magic or through, you know, heart to heart conversations, um, being open with each other or giving them an opening in some um, subtle way so that they know they can reach out. Because, yeah, some of them are spying on you and they feel like you might be cold, guarded, distrusting. They feel maybe some of them betrayed you. And so they kind of feel that energy because we got betrayal, jealousy, conflict. Some of them might be. Like, or maybe they're jealous. Maybe they think you might be dating someone else. Yeah, there's this energy that they want to, those that messed up, they want to, for those that those of them that messed up, they want to apologize. The divine is trying to push them to get them to be braver because this person is very afraid. This person is, is like very, just a very scared person and they need to get through that, not just for you, but in the relationship, but also for themselves. They need to be braver and more assertive in their personal life as well. This seems like someone who like retreats a lot and just kind of lives in their head and they're very like introverted, which I mean, it's okay to be introverted, but it's like they need to, I don't want to say grow up hair, but kind of like, <laughs> kind of, <laughs> I don't know a nice way to say that. I guess I, I guess I could reword that instead of saying grow up hair, we'll say you need to be a little more assertive, a little more confident. <laughs> You know, a little more taken charge of what is important to them. <laughs> yeah, the divine is trying to help them. The divine is trying to help them better their lives in all are all areas. So anyway, like I was saying, if this is your reading and you want me to go more in depth into what your person's feeling, like what you can do to move this energy along, um, just whatever you want to know, really, uh, give send me an email. It's right below in the description box. And again, any donations are appreciated and please subscribe if it resonates. Thank you guys for watching.